In today's video, I'll be making a Brookhaven for Pommy of the Amazing Digital Circus with fast cars, toy rides, and even the actual circus of their digital world. First, we gotta understand Pommy, so put an image of her on screen. She's a jester-like character. She's always looking anxious, basically her character trait, and her color palette is basically red, blue, and yellow. Now we're ready to start. I think a good thing to start is these trees. They're kind of simple and boring. That's why I'll be painting them according to our girl, of course. This one will be blue. Others will be red, of course. Then we just need to do that all over the map, since there's tons of those around town. After a little while, I painted all of the square trees we have, making it a lot better. At spawn, I'll change these squares the same as the trees, red and blue. Now, on top of these stores, I want to get the amazing Digital Circus logo. It's their map, so it's only fair it's written somewhere, and I think it'll look great here. On top of the mountain, I want to get the actual circus. We just gotta make it a lot bigger, and also take all of these pointy trees out of the way. It can't be in its way. Inside it, we'll get the characters, like our boy Kane, our bunny Jack. And the rest of the cast as well. You're probably saying that there's something missing like Kofmo or Kinger. But I actually couldn't find models for them. All I found was this little Kofmo. But I didn't really like it. I don't think it looks much like him. Let me just spread some more decorations. Done! That's how our digital circus looks like. There isn't a lot of stuff. But we work with what we got. I'll just go inside there myself and see what's up. Here we are. Oh gosh, this Kofmo is big! I just realized that I'm really damn small for everything inside this place. Just just look at how huge they are. Gangle, what have they done to you? Your torso and mass are off of you. Beyond just Gangle, Kane is literally just destroyed on the floor there. Even his teeth are out. Dude, what have they done to our digitally amazing little guys? The only thing I can do to help them is ask you to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. That's the only way we can help them get better. If we go over to the stores, we'll see places like the ice cream shop or the arcade. Normally, they're fun places. But if we look at the arcade, there's really nothing much to do here. We can't actually play anything. But inside our Pommy Brookhaven, it's gonna be different. First, I gotta redecorate some stuff, like this grocery store, just to make the town look more like our girl. After all that painting, we gotta change some stuff inside these places too. The arcade is gonna have all their previous games revoked. In their place, we'll have the best gaming computers we can find. Now all we need to do is add a little light in this dark room. And that's our new arcade. We have computers that can play literally anything. Some of them even have cameras if you want to record some stuff on the interwebs. This guy even has Roblox opened and ready to boot. You can probably find your favorite game right here. Over at the ice cream shop, we can start by painting the walls. They've got to look more like Pommy. I'll get this whole counter out of our way. We're going to get something else. In this case, an ice cream machine. But since there's not that many flavors, we'll get a freezer are full of all kinds of ice cream. And just for the fun of it, we'll have a little Kirby holding some ice cream too. He gives this place such a cute charm. Now the grocery store is gonna have everything deleted inside of it. Nothing will stay. We'll now get some toy shelves, which just seem really damn fun. One with a bunch of snacks for us. Another with a bunch of cute plushies. With all that, our grocery store feels every bit cooler. Of course, the cashier will be Pommy herself, since that's her very own grocery store. Why don't we put an image of her on top of it. We just need to scale it up properly. Done! That's Pommy's grocery store now. This regular Brookhaven sky ain't gonna work. I'll get a more cartoony looking one in its place. That looks nice. If you know anything about the amazing digital circus, inside their world you can find all kinds of fun stuff. We're gonna have to delete some stuff off the map for that. Like Brooks Diner, for example. Never had that much fun on it. The mall is also kinda mid. So there it goes. Goodbye hospital. School as well. Of course. Now come one, come all of the toy rides we can get. Over the neighborhoods, I'll get some fun looking places too. Look at how much this place glows. We'll get all kinds of fun loving places here. We can't forget to add some nice vehicles all around town. I want everyone that enters to have fun anywhere they are. Done. I think our map is finally ready to play. I've logged into it to see if it's all up to par. Of course, some subs are testing it out with me. Not that many people since I'm recording quite late. But if you're ever wanting to play Roblox with me or show up on videos, you're gonna have to follow my Roblox profile at NandaYT. Click the three little dots and then the follow button that you'll also be up to date with everything Nando. Something I really want to try is the Ferris wheel. Can we ride it? That's what we're gonna find out right now. I'm really hoping that's the case. Well, I'm standing here, but nothing is happening. Are these the controls? Let's try that out. Oh gosh! 
I think something went wrong right now. What about these arrows? Can they help us? Whoa! It makes it so much more dangerous. It does work, but I wouldn't get inside one of these in my life. This big peppermint was supposed to be a car. Can we use it? I don't think it's working. I'm really not sure. Maybe it's just bugged. What about this big ride over here? I probably have to click something inside this cabin to make it go. The only problem is that we can't get inside in any way. Now if I use the free camera to click it, they do seem to work. If I click the yellow button, the lights all change to yellow too. Ain't that cool? Which of them makes the ride start then? One of them should work. Maybe this green one? Who knows? Maybe this blue one. All I know is that I'm clicking anything I'm able to. Seems like we did start the ride, but it's still quite slow. This would probably be more fun if it was going faster. Oh, I could get working at this speed. So that's kind of sad. Dude, what kind of car is this one on the road? Is this really a car? Dude, you gotta be kidding me. I've never seen anything like this. Weirdly, we can actually drive it like a regular looking one. I got even another big ride for us to try out. We're now back to the segment finding a button to start the ride. It should be this one though. We can put the seats to spin a total of four. All right, this one does go quite a bit faster than the last. Okay, this one's actually really fun. The subs are for sure enjoying themselves too. What about this car? I'm really hoping we can go around with it. We got it working. Let's stroll around town then. Sadly, even if it looks cool, not a good one to drive with. Whoa, that guy didn't take that rail well. Now we'll be trying out these train rails. Let's hope it's good. Let's go forward. Dude, why are you standing there? Keep going too. Oh no, I think my car is in our way. I'll get another cart to see if we can continue. We'll push it until it gets out of our way. Oh, that actually helped. Now we can finally use these rails. Whoa, how did that happen? I was liking it so much and it just threw me away. I'm going a bit slower this time. I don't want to go off, but just look at me there. This is so fun to do. Get out of my way. I don't want you bugging my rails. I'll just try and go max speed on this thing. Let's see where it goes. Oh gosh, I guess that's it then. That's a lesson to you kids. Don't try to go everything with full speed. We got quite a nice map for you guys. I think Pommy would love our maps as well. She could have fun all around her town. Now for you guys to try out that map, you're gonna have to get my Roblox profile. It's at Nando YT. Inside it, you'll see the three little dots that you can click to find the follow button for you to click. That'll not only help you play, but you may even be able to show up on my videos sometimes. Now if we go a bit down, we can find the official Nando fan group. You should totally become a member for the future events and stuff I'll be announcing later on. If you look at the experiences tab, you'll find the maps I've made, the Pommy one, and the side and help Nando. That's gonna have to be it for today, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below what other maps you want to see me make next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They're digitally awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Roblox for all of you. Have a good one.